Welcome back for another lesson here on educators.com. Today we're going to discuss careers in web development. Now this should be very exciting for you to know that there is more demand for web developers than any other time. A huge demand. In fact, the top five jobs are, that are in demand today, right now, were not in demand five years ago. And this is uh, the year 2012 month of April. So five years ago, these jobs didn't even exist. And so that's very, that's why it's really important to understand the concept of web, where it's going, and the careers uh, that are going to be, uh, that you are in, invited to embark upon. So let's go ahead and kind of study the basic concept of the different careers. We're going to go over what is a front-end developer, what is a back-end developer, and how to find work and we're going to throw this in for you so you'll know where to look, how to look, and what to do when you get there. So let's move on to the front-end developer. So what is a front-end developer? Well, basically the front-end developer is, are people who sets the tone for the entire website. Uh, these are the different disciplines that a front-end developer uh, is in, most likely will be involved with. Uh, for instance, uh, HTML, which is the what we're learning right now, HTML5. HTML is a markup language, okay? Now, a lot of uh, developers in the back end kind of argue that HTML is not a programming language, it's a markup language. Well, I'm going to ask you not to pay any attention to that. Every back end programmer that I know needed to study the concepts of HTML. So you're at the right place. It all starts here. Every website, every web application, there is a need to understand HTML and so you're at the right place. But HTML, I would imagine, is, I guess if there's any one good analogy to describe it, is sort of like a base model car. So I'm going to try to draw a car here. Okay, I guess this is sort of like a Volkswagen bug. But we'll go ahead and add some wheels here. Yeah, this is kind of like an old uh, Model T or an old car. And here's the, okay, so it's a base model car. What is a base model car? Well, it doesn't have any ba uh, bells or whistles. It just has a steering wheel, some seats. Okay, we'll draw some seats over here. Here's a steering wheel. Okay, has some headlights. Again, it's got the two wheels. And that's it. That's, that's a base model car, and that's what HTML is. But in order to have the bells and whistles, you got to have the base. Okay? And that's where JavaScript comes in. Okay? JavaScript offers the extra bells and whistles uh, with uh, HTML. And with JavaScript, we can get pop-up windows, rollover effects, Okay, we can have scrolling effect. Okay, we can even have redirects. So, if this is a base model car, JavaScript is synonymous to, I don't know, cruise control. Okay, airbags, uh, power windows. You get the gist.